very European uh, trip uh, ended up today here, playing uh, versus probably the best team uh, in, uh, in European basketball. Um, it's really sad for us that uh, if we had the same approach with the second half, at the first half, at the first uh, second of the game, we believe that we easily we could have, uh, of course, a very good opportunity to win the game. But it looks like uh, we just follow in the beginning uh, what they wanted to do. We didn't spend fouls. We didn't be physical. If you remember the score, nine out of 13 three-pointers. And uh, they missed eight shots. And they took how many rebounds? in the first half, four or five. So, I mean, we just took three defensive rebounds in the first half. You know, then we make our effort on the second half. Some details decided about the game because they have quality and they make some really difficult shots. Uh, of course, it's a, it's a lesson for us. We, need, we needed the guys to start the game with a way that we, knew, we think and we have to do that. You know, remember what we said about our physicality, we cannot be looser than them. And uh, in the first half, we were like this. Okay, it looks like in every 50 50 ball, we were second. Okay, that's why they took confidence, shooting the ball well, running on transition, and all those things. But, you know, beyond this, we have to be really happy, proud, satisfied from our trip this year. We gave everything in the, in the in EuroLeague. We have one more title. And we need to, be, to do whatever we can to get it, okay, to take it. Don't have faces down, guys. It was three final fours in a row. We were not lucky. I don't know some details. We were not good enough to win the title. But anyway, we give our, our best this year. Come on, faces up. Stand up, please. Stand up. <laughs> Olympiacos.